Welcome, we're back. Darn glad to be here. We're going to be reviewing another Bloody Mary mix. And uh, we'll introduce the panel as we forgot to do last time, I just realized. Oh, oh. well, we're well known. We are, we are. That was like 50 years ago, let it go. Yeah. Time to yeah. move on. Uh, I'm Greg, otherwise known as uh, Big Fat Bloody Mary. I'm working on that, though. <clears throat> and I'm Deborah, otherwise known as Soulless Ginger. <laughs> I'm Brad. I'm Lynn. <laughs> she so is Lynn. <laughs> she is. She really is. The really studio is. audience is just taken back by how things are already rolling. Yeah. So the, our, last, uh, our last review, oh, um, I, we did Big Daddies. Mm. And uh, wow, it, things got real uh, in that review. Absolutely. Uh, people who have watched us know that we shoot from the hip. And I always tell people when they send uh, a sample, uh, or if I go out and buy it, as I did in this case, uh, we're just going to say it like it is, mm -hmm. and we certainly did. And if you like that sort of thing, uh, De uh, Deborah and I actually broke into fisticuffs. I, we're we probably going to edit. Uh, can we? We'll hopefully be able to cut that. production can handle that. But the, the ratings for that one ranged from thirty uh, on the standard scale of one to seventy-seven. They ranged from thirty-three up to sixty-eight. Yeah. Uh, but today we're moving right along. We're going to do. Uh, two flavors from Uncle Dougie's, and this is a company out of uh, the greater Chicagoland area. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lynn, what have you poured us first? I poured pour you rich and spicy. Woo! Thought we'd, <laughs> thought we'd start with hot first. Oh, we're going to start with the, the rich spicy. and spicy variety. And it says here, uh, can, can you bloody Mary mix past the celery chest? Say it loud. Fresh blend of flavor that beats the crap out of the competition. <laughs> beats the crap. Beats the out crap. Of the... We like that one crap, from the get-go. Crap features a lot on you. There's nice. actually I, I, later on we'll have our camera guy focus in here, but there actually is like a no crap symbol on this. No um, Uncle flaws. Dougie has a little moxie. He has a little moxie. He has no high fructose corn. High fructose corn. So you have no MSG, no preservatives. It's gluten free, 100% USA ingredients, and 100% natural. So they short us on some of those ingredients. They do. So is it cheaper then? Because you don't get the high. I don't know. You bought it with pay for it. He's even got a calorie count on here. I mean, he's got his like nutritional RDA facts here. I mean, this is this is good. So you know. Was this a sample or did you purchase? I did purchase. But products. we do welcome samples. Well, you're darn right. You know what we I like? will happily review your product if you want to send us. You know what I like? Samples. Yeah. The free ones Wait. that they send you? Yeah. I uh, really like free samples. I'm a big fan, too. Would you like me to try your things? Bring them in. <laughs> We're not proud. We take, take pretty much anything. Thank you for pouring. Oh, you're welcome. I'm excited. So we all got a pour. pour. Are we gonna work, we'll dive in and give it an official taste? I think we're good to go. Yep. All right. Well, can I take a sip now? Because before I was way ahead of you guys. I feel like we should do a Chicago land cheers. cheers. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. You need some guy. <laughs> huh? This is the spicy, huh? Yeah. Mm. I say that for a reason. It's pretty clean. Mm. It's very it tastes very clean. Yeah. Tomato mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it reminds me of a tomato thing. juice first. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. You know, like you get We're back to you know the really like you're good. not drinking uh, two ingredients. A lot of well, there's the spice too after. Yeah, back of the tongue. Spice. Yep, yep. It's like a secondary or tertiary mm -hmm. flavor. Reminds me of a, a jalapeno type of a mm -hmm. heat versus like a, a cayenne yes. Tabasco yes. front of yes. the tongue. Yeah, I got more. tomato. I got the molasses. Yeah. And then it's I got good. and then I got the spice after. Yep. It's real simple. You know what it could use though? Mm. A little more vodka, would you? Mm -hmm. Oh, certainly. I would. I would actually concur. Oh, there's a And black by pepper. the way, when you're on the yeah. web site, please click on the ads. Shelfless, selfless, uh, uh, shameless promotion. Oh, wait, now which website is this, Brad? BigFatBloodyMary.com. Oh. Wait, what was that? Oh, BigFatBloodyMary.com. Click on the ads. That helps fund the vodka budget. <clears throat> That's amazing. We need to do that. I'm a little deaf in this year. Could you repeat that to me one more time? <laughs> one more time. What was that? Big fat bloodymary.com. Big fat bloodymary.com. I'll remember that. It kind of rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It does. Big it fat does. Mm -hmm. Big fat bloodymary.com. Big fat bloodymary.com. Big fat bloodymary. Peppery flavor as it yeah. is. The secondary right. flavor. So uh, now you're, you've added more vodka to it. So yeah. what do you think yeah. in terms of? I did that for a on reason. The on the international scale, what's it doing for you? Mm -hmm. Are we going to go to the scale? Well, 
I did add a little vodka in that. It's a personal thing, but what I like, I like a nice vodka flavor in my Bloody Marys, and so I find that if right. I add more vodka, oh. I can get a bit more of that, you know what I mean? You yeah, 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 I taste it now. I, well, I added a little bit. Taste, yeah. So that's, so that's why I said nice. all along, we should either drink the same amount of vodka, mm -hmm. so we kind of get a, so it's equal in our taste buds. Yeah. She functions as cute. Because if you have more vodka, it's going to be a hell of a lot better to you. It's the best Bloody Mary I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so moving wow. right along. Um, Good, let's move along. So, we're, yes, we use... <laughs> We, uh, we do need to move along because we have another flavor to as well. We, uh, we use the international scale of 1 to 77. 77 being like the, the perfect Bloody Mary like mm -hmm. you would find in our kitchen. And out of 1 to 77, mm. um, boy, i got to give this some pretty good marks. I'm going to go 72. It's fresh. Yeah. It tastes like there's not a whole lot going on that shouldn't be there. Right. You know, I'm definitely, Ooh. it comes on like a nice tomato juice, which I like. And then the heat just is complex. It comes in back of the tongue and while it sits there, real nice. It's a good, yeah. what did I say? 72? 72. 72, 72, 72. That's I'm going to go 72. Well done. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I agree actually with uh, quite a few of your remarks. And I will say, I, that. I know, right? <laughs> I also appreciate that this is the, one of the few that I don't feel like I need to do something else with. Um, it stands alone. Which is it's really, the really smoking nice. jacket that does it. <laughs> it stands Yeah, no, it, it actually does hold its own. Um, I, I think I would introduce this to an amateur bloody drinker. I would introduce it to a more advanced bloody drinker. I, I do think you could add a little something if you wanted to. Um, Steak but sauce, perhaps. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> Too soon? That's it. Oh, no, no, um, I, uh, I, I just stay. Yeah, She's I like the it. Show. Yeah, no, I like it. I, I would actually. And I'm a relatively newer bloody drinker in the world. I've been drinking for like two years. I know. Um, you should take a break, though. Oh Honestly, my God. Two, two years is kind of a long time. This is what it does to your hair. Even um, I take a break. Right? Drink. I would say, um, I, w I would give it a, a good fat 75. Just because nice. it's so, really? yeah, it's welcome. And I like spice. I, I like that the spice is lingering, but it doesn't hurt. Um, yeah, and I love their attitude. No crap, no crap, it's clean, it's totally clean. So good yep. stuff. Well done, Dougie. Uncle. What do, you, what do you think about Lynn? I think it's really clean. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's not it's not just knocking me over with the spices. Mm -hmm. and I think it's an all around bloody for everybody. Yeah. If you could serve this and nobody would say it's too spicy, not, not enough. So it's kind of in the middle of the road, but I like it. Crowd I would give it a. Yes. Mm -hmm. Crowd mm -hmm. Yes. I would give it a 72. Yeah. Some really solid marks. Uncle Dougie. Yeah, and I'm like Deborah. There's no crap thing. Yeah, there's no crap. No crap. I don't like a lot of crap. I got time for that. So, what did you say earlier about it doesn't the the taste it, it doesn't mask something? Explain what do you mean by that? Well, I was pretty drunk when I said oh, that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, if we're remember to get in depth, or we can't, se, we can't go back and review. But, not really, no. <laughs> I didn't write it. It just, <laughs> it just came out at the time and yeah, it felt it's good. It's unscripted. It sounded good yeah. at the time. No, um, I, I think what I said was that uh, there, there wasn't anything there that didn't need to be there. Is that what you meant? Yes, it's yes. Clean. Yeah, yeah. And everything has a purpose. Yeah, clean All drunk. The flavors that. Yep. Uh, yeah. clean drink. <laughs> I think for somebody who is who's new to the game, and they're looking for an introduction to a Bloody Mary mix. I think this is the one that they would want to pick. And coming from you, somebody who does not like spice, and right. even though it says spice on the label, yes. you're okay with that. Yeah. I I, um, I think that's pretty powerful. 71 on mine. 71. 71. Nice. 71. Nice. Oh, well done, really, Uncle Dougie. Really good marks. Seriously. Yeah. One of the best <clears throat> set of marks we've had. Yeah. I think that um, one of the things that we also need to shamelessly plug. Mm, yes. Stickers. Oh, oh, yes, indeed. We we have uh, well, we have a certain lifestyle, mm, and uh, really? I think yeah. If you haven't noticed, a lot of people are squeamish about ordering Bloody Marys at night. They think it's a daytime mm. cocktail, Stupid. and so our motto is, "Hey, it's nine." The audience is laughing. It's nine a.m. somewhere. <laughs> All right. 
It's okay. So we had stickers made up, and they've been enormously popular. I have a question for Good you. Good luck finding them, though. I have a question. I mean, I, I have a hole on my Rusty 77 Impala. Mm -hmm. Will it help? Can well, I patch with this sticker? Thanks for asking. Yeah. Yes, it will. They oh, are, wonderful. You can also use vinyl. it for a band -aid. So the first, actually, we got a bunch of them early on the that were, they were paper, yes. and if you put them on your car, they broke down. Oh. We upgraded. These are made of vinyl, yes. and so they hold up pretty well. I mean, like any bumper sticker. That's, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me this is the duct tape of stickers about Bloody Mary. You could say, it's been said. That yeah. is amazing. BigFatBloodyMary.com would have those stickers, would they not? Yeah, they would. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. Two bucks will send you eight of them. Two bucks for eight of them? I'll buy the stamp. Wait a minute. I don't care. Wait a minute. I'm Two bucks money. for eight I of them? I lose about a dollar on each sale. Yeah. But I, I make up for it in volume because I sell so many. That is amazing. Yeah.